Greetings and welcome. I'm the Carolina Chef with Simple Cooking Made Simple on YouTube. Today, we had leftover meatloaf from our previous video. So I wanted to show you guys a couple ways to utilize your leftovers so you don't have any waste. So Rubbermaid makes these nice little plastic containers. So I just cut it in portions and now I'm gonna freeze it and then I have meatloaf. The next time I want some meatloaf or it's an evening I don't really want to make, make something. I've got dinner. Just add some mashed potatoes, green beans, and some biscuits. Oh, you're good to go, let me tell you. And now, oh, we also made a grown-up grilled cheese on Texas toast. It is big, but you know, I'm in Texas, and everything is bigger in Texas. Well, at least that's what they say. But, so watch this video. It's a short little video, and if you haven't done so yet, smash that like button. And thanks for all you guys that already have. We really appreciate that. So, stay tuned. And let's play. So I've already <clears throat> pre-sliced some meatloaf. You just want to make sure you get it good and warm. Flip it. And then we'll start assembling our grilled cheese, our grown-up grilled cheese. This is so good and tasty. It's so easy. But it's a great way to use your leftovers. So this is about ready. I've added, I've kind of put our pieces together, how it's going to be formed in the sandwich. And I like to add one slice of cheese to one side because this is going to help hold it together and i love some cheese you can get never go wrong with too much cheese and the way i feel about cheese it's just good stuff so i'm going to add a, some butter right here and this is going to be for our texas toast we're using texas toast for this we're just going to let this melt and then we're going to add our texas toast right here then we'll add our sauce that's going to go with this. So now our butter's pretty much melted. We're going to add our bread. And then I'm using a Thousand Island dressing made by Ken's. It's really good. We're just going to add some of that to both. And then we're going to take this little baby fork and kind of spread that out. We're going to top this with cheese. And you can do this a bunch of different ways. I've made grown up grilled cheeses with all kinds of stuff. And a grown up grilled cheese is just where it's more than just a regular grilled cheese. And I'm using Velveeta. I'm gonna place the cheese on there. And then we're gonna start with the piece that we have our cheese on, add it to that. And then we're going to Top that with this. And like I said, that cheese is going to help hold this together because this is a big sandwich. This is, like I said, this is a great way to use up meatloaf. Sometimes I'll just eat meatloaf, heat it up, add some mayonnaise to some bread and eat it that way. Or just eat it as meatloaf and uh, make some mashed potatoes or some green beans with it, which we will have a mashed potato recipe that'll be coming out in the next probably week week and a half somewhere around in there but this is just some a different way you could add bacon to this tomato just you know play with it add some extra stuff to it that maybe you normally wouldn't but you're like oh man that sounds pretty good i mean it's almost like having a hamburger or a patty melt we'll check this bread out and we got a nice golden toast we got some a little bit of meatloaf there. But I like using this pan with the little griddle marks when I'm grilling like hamburgers sometimes I'll use it or if I'm doing a grilled cheese or a hot sandwich because I, I just like the way it looks. So our grown up grilled cheese is ready. I'm just gonna cut this in half. But boy, look at all of that goodness. I mean, you're gonna have the flavor of the meatloaf, the cheese, the Thousand Island in there, and the buttered toast. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. And it's a great way to use up your leftovers. And another thing I like to do, because most of the time it's just me eating, um, 
if I make something big, I like to make stuff that I can refreeze and heat up later. So Rubbermaid makes these great plastic containers with a nice seal. So I'll just put stuff in there and freeze it. And then I've got meatloaf for two meals. I mean, it's an awesome way to use your leftovers so you're not wasting your food. You're, and the only thing this is going to do, it's going to be, it's going to be even more tastier when you do it this way because all those flavors keep working together, even though it's frozen, they still just intensifies that flavor. So if you're only a, a family of one, two, three, and you have leftovers, this is a great way to use them. It's it's easy. We made it in a sandwich. I mean, you can eat it like you would if you cooked it the day before. You can freeze it. It's just, it's a great use of your leftover meatloaf. We want to thank all you guys for watching, all of our subscribers. Like I said before, we really appreciate you guys. We've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of suggestions. I love getting those. So... You know, let me know what you guys think. I really do appreciate it. Also, I want you to do the three S's for me. Smash that like button. Share with your family and friends. Subscribe. Click that little bell so you get notifications. So whenever we release a new video, you will be the first ones to view. Thanks so much. God bless.